it's not bad in it's not bad on paper. It's bad, but in matchup, it really depends on how good he knows how good. He yeah, no, and Solarts has beaten Ling Ling's piece before. Yeah. So the fact that Ling is switching to his DDD doesn't surprise me. Uh, it's funny enough that he plays Peach, but this is the secondary you don't expect. Like, you expect like Peach to play Palutena or like Bayonetta or at least Lucina. This is like the most interesting character he ever picked up. Yeah, no, Ling picked this character up to play in Wi-Fi, and is end up ending up to be a character that. It's just covering bad matchups. Yeah. If there's only one time for you to pick DDD on purpose in bracket, yeah. it's definitely here. That is true. Because weirdly enough, when I first when I first say he did a second he tried this character, he tried Paul Tano. Especially one time his father was, was good, but this character is actually much better, funny enough. But like he has so much underhanded stuff that when you laugh about this character, it's scary. That's what scares me. He's got big buttons and he's really slow, but if you sleep on him too hard, all of a sudden you're just eating tons of damage. Yeah. That being said, he's still a big body. He still has some of the worst aerial movement in the game. Yes, yeah, sadly. But the funny thing is, people say it's funny enough he's to consider the perfect character, but it's not important compared to this game. He's still considerate, but he's just not as like he was before. Like with the nurse with his Gordo, he used to be actually more scary than my yeah. In this matchup, though, Gordo does offer a decent amount of uh, mix up for landing. And. and it's okay ranged pressure. Like anything to keep Shulk away from you is honestly the name of the game. But up close is oh because right now I can see most of the trouble. I can see like Ling wants to actually gonna have to approach him slowly, try to kill him as early as possible. So he can take the lead and run away with it. But right now anyone can die. Anyone can really come in and die. Yeah no. Like chilling at 90 uh, 95. Like Solaris is gonna be pretty safe. Excellent yep. catch at the ledge. Ling Ling has to work fast to make sure that Solarts doesn't have too hard of a lead because between modulating, between the different arcs, and just in general, like if he decides to hold back, like Solarts can extend the stock for quite a while. Yeah, and Shulk can live for long too, especially if he actually can especially manage for Solarts, especially. But not Excellent. That was smart up now. Like Ling Ling was positioned perfectly to either get back to throwing Gordos or just up tilt. Like up tilt deceptively strong. It covers pretty much a lot of a lot of characters' options. This character is less trapped than Loki slept on him. Compared, because people always say, "What do I do off the ledge? Border, or are you gonna cover up tilt, down smash, even spot, or even try to spot the side and you get hit by the actual hitbox?" No, well, yeah. If there's one thing that DDD like on paper is actually really good at, it's a lot of its tools are well acclimated for playing off stage and playing at the ledge. Yeah. Like any character is gonna have a hard oh, time with that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Armor through the down air. Alright. Yo, okay. you really just went for it all. Okay. He really wants to end this because he does not want to show to live that long. Oh, yeah, I don't blame him. Like, you got Solarin's eating damage. Like, you've got him in a rough position. But it, was a it was really funny and surprising he went this character instead of going like a different one. That's what really kind of convinced him in this matchup. No, yeah, I've been seeing that he's been practicing a lot more of the DDD offline. Um, and, like, like obviously Peach is the better character, but there's times like this where like picking Peach is just bracket suicide. Like, so, it's bra like yeah, because like at the same time, unless you really don't want, unless you really want to display like a long timeout match, I can see why he picked this is a better character. Yes. But I wouldn't, I would be surprised if he did switch back, switch to Peach in the second game. If he doesn't want, if he wins, loses. No, yeah. At that point, I think it's just like a confidence shaker, where it's like, oh, well, maybe the DDD's not ready. I gotta rest on my best character, and you just sort of pick into it, knowing it's gonna be a rough time. Plus, he is living longer versus Show, because if he can't, Show can't steal off a stock as early while his sword, like his smash shirt, then I can see Show having a hard time killing. Sometimes he can't get like a ledge shot. Oh, grab with. Yeah, I feel like it's not so much that Solar is struggling to get the kill, so much as he's just being really patient. With yeah, him. like he tried to pick the right time to get it. So he doesn't actually mess up because this is the one that you do not want to mess up versus. Absolutely. Especially in neutral, advantage, or even disadvantage. Yeah, no, you don't want to overextend when you're playing Shulk because Shulk just sort of explodes. Like, yeah, he's got shield art, yeah, he's got jump art, but you eventually bleed those out. He's still just a character at 157, and you're still DDD. You're oh. able to kill that. Right now, this could be anyone's game at this point. Anyone's game. Because at the same time, when Shulk has any of his smash art, his weight, surprisingly, his class, weight class changes from each one. Like, smash art becomes like a light. Ooh. As I said that, he just died immediately. Yeah. But what I was trying to say is, like, when Shulk switches between, like, his swords, his weight class changes. Because smash art becomes like a lightweight. Well, he takes more knockback. Or That's less knockback. Less it's, not, knockback. it's not the weight. It's just, like, 
properties of the character end up adjusting in a way where, like, it's like you go from playing, like, say, for instance, I to, like, Pikachu or something like that. Yeah, it, like, it changes, like, you play it, like, a totally different, you play it, like, differently depending on what he has on. So, you get that man where he has left until it comes back and know how long it's going to take to come back, too. Yeah, no, but Solar Arts was really well practiced in, like, monitoring what he needs to do to stall between the arts, when to use them. You also see sometimes he'll like go for using the arts, and then like he'll just switch out of it as soon as it's done. Okay, small battlefield. You think he's gonna stay D three, or you think he'll go cool? There's a good stage for either one of his characters. I think DDD is the better pick of the two. Okay, yeah. he's definitely. Staying. Yeah, no, I think that would have been fine for Peach, but like right now you're just best off just playing it safe with the DDD okay. pick. And it wasn't even that bad of a pick. It was a bit of a slow paced it's a good, match. It's actually a really good counter pick. Good counter pick in my opinion. Okay. And maybe he wants his shield or Yeah, no, he doesn't want to deal with early percentage combos. Yeah. He's gonna hit the ground. Like you'll take a little bit of damage, but it's whatever. You return to neutral safer. Yeah. Cause right now Right now Ling is actually displaying more like he's pretty much the same as he did from earlier games. That's why the quick to choose to fight and catch it a lot of jumps. Cause like Solo's is approaching a lot with uh, sometimes with a little bit of his nares in neutral. It's a bit of a smaller stage, so like you can't run. Yeah, you he want to be able to just like run away a lot. Exactly. That's like a good idea. So you want smaller room. Plus, if Ling Ling manages to actually get control of the stage, from there it doesn't Ooh, take a lot of effort for him to push yeah, out. That's unfortunate. But that's exactly what Solar is doing right now. He takes back center stage, pushes out because that's all just one big ledge that you get to cover for free. Yo. Okay, this is the oh, okay, smart. All right. That was like barely a combo. <laughs> yeah. just, hit him, just a few straight hits, and that's 55 for free. Mm -hmm. Character really do be whack sometimes. Yeah, I feel. But bad. he knows it. Yeah, but I feel bad for this. I feel bad for people that play this character. At the same time, it's also good that no one expects you to go with this character on bracket. Okay. Yeah. Go three safe to firm. Yeah, the fact that Ling Ling is trying to just harass on the flash, just keep the battle to the ledge, shows that he knows exactly what he needs to do for this matchup. And even though Star is giving him a rough time for it, like, it's still a solid plan. Oh, that was that. smart. Really good catch. Ended up catching him out with a and, jump. And, yep, and I'm going to make it back with a jump. Okay, we can do it. Oh, he really wanted to end it. Yeah, no, he needs to get that stock away because now Ling Ling can harass. He can just go from plat to plat and keep the battle going to the ledge. Okay. Ooh, okay. Smash Heart almost out, and Solar's not able to do too much with it. What's he gonna do? He's probably expecting a roller right now. Yeah, no, nah, if that had a little bit longer or if Ling Ling. Just oh, a little bit closer, he probably would have gotten that. He would have had that. But right now, Ling Ling making this look like really good for himself. Getting Solar to the point where he's almost lapped in percentages. Back air and Gordo like doing so much to keep Shulk from actually doing something. Because like his option cover is actually really good. It's really good with this guy right now. Alright. Alright, this is our make or break shield Ooh, art. Okay. Yikes. There you go. The big hitbox. Alright, what are you going to do to take the stop? We gotta see Solar. Solar's gotta play patient. You gotta yeah. play it out really slow. Like, I think between speed art, shield art, jump out, do what you gotta do in order to get this character. Just get your licks in and for whatever. Now he's going buses, so he can do a little bit more damage. Okay. Yo, the fact that down tilt, like, actually low profiles Gordo is so whack. It That's is. crazy. It's hilarious. Ling Ling made it work, though. That's game two. Yep. Play his best of. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, we only going into game three. Oh, wow. Is there a Is it? Ought to be modified DSR, I believe. Oh, really? That's interesting. No DSR? Oh, ooh. oh okay, that's interesting. Yeah, you no DSR. All right, that means that Solar can bring himself right on back. Stage previously went on. Yeah, PS2. Now, what should be? What do you think? Ling, what do you think Ling was gonna? What do you think Ling's gonna ban versus Show? Like big stages that like he can live longer? Or uh, you probably want to take away Final Destination, no matter what, because you don't want to get juggled by Show. And like, like you think Kalos too? Uh, Kalos would be a good choice. Although, 
Solar Arts doesn't really like that stage from what I understand. So what? like, what even think? though it's a good Shulk stage, maybe not a Soul Arts stage. Let's see what he put. He picked like a PS2? Yeah, PS2. yeah he yeah. ran it back. Oh, yeah, if, he has, if he's got the option to run it back, he's absolutely going to do it. It's a really solid Shulk stage. Uh, kind of difficult for uh, DDD to keep control of both the ledges at the same time, the same way that he can do with Small Battlefield. Or like any small stages in general. Yeah, no, the fact that the stage is on the longer end, like, makes it really difficult for DDD to hold stage without just hurtling really hard. Yeah, let's talk, man, let's talk like he has not gone back on the stage for most of it, for like a little bit of this, his percent. Man's basically started game three on the ledge. Yup, he's led ledge flanking. Oh my god, that's funny. Like, he, it's what he's got to do. Like, you got to play super defensively and just react. Like, it's how he's getting these little bits and pieces of damage off the Solars. But, like, if he's not going to be able to flank effectively, he's just going to be taking a lot of damage. And that's what Solars is really doing. He's forcing these battles back onto the stage from one ledge to the other. And, and right, then, right now, he could die at this point. Because right now, he did go right and he shook on the dude. But he grabbed him on the dude. Alright, let's see. Good way. So we just go right on back yeah. to the ledge. That's where Solarch wants to play it out. It's it's comfortable. That's what I feel like this whole match is gonna be at. Alright, what's that? It's how you come back. Okay. Good that was smart. I don't um, think that, that's not gonna be that yeah. We're seeing so many of these empty hop grabs from Solaris. Yep. He just has such oh. a strong idea of how to like stay right on top of Bling Ling's shield. Yep, and just keep him pressure like he doesn't come back on stage, saying this is my stage. He has yep. to work hard to come back. It's like it takes good reactions to be able to do that with Shulk because even though Shulk's buttons are big and they can be oppressive, they're on the slower end. So like you have to take, you have to pick and choose like when you're gonna throw it out. Oh, that's dumb. Bro. Yeah, right grab, up grab. Bro. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's wild. It's okay. funny too that you think the range increases his knockback on his throws too increases, and that's why I find it hilarious about that character. Like it's like that's how it goes. It's high risk, high reward, especially because multiple times we've seen Solarge go into Smash Heart, and then he'll just die. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like it's been backfiring half the time on him. But it was the first time he actually got a kill from Smash Heart. Well, second time, but no, yeah, he's keeping his pressure on. Like that's staying consistent. And I think that's just because Solarge is comfortable with this matchup and his character. Like who got the experience of playing this matchup? Where is the question? All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, oh really? It's all about punch. He's gonna get it. That was a good. That was actually a good risk going on to challenge him. And this is looking. This would be kind of looking. This would be really looking good for Lung if he actually can keep this up. Yeah, no, but he's just got to keep this match at the ledge. He can't really do much when it comes to like actually fighting on stage. But playing at the ledge, it's the all of a sudden you got a lot to deal with. It is really enough. This character. And it's no one expects this character to play all play more at the ledge and play even more. He controls the stage better. Ooh, oh, that's coming down with a forward. Over? That's actually a really interesting lane one one with a show with D three versus show. D works. That's a two one victory for.